क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर द फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ एन एरिथमेटिक सीक्वेंस इज फोर्टीन फर्स्ट टर्म इज गिवन दैट इज फोर्टीन एंड द फोर्थ टर्म फोर्थ टर्म इज गिवन थर्टी टू फाइंड द कॉमन डिफरेंस Now t fourth term is given thirty two. Also fourth term is we can write differently. First term uh, a plus four minus one times d. A is first term. First term is given fourteen. So T four is fourteen plus three D. This is the first equation. Fourth term is thirty two. Then we wrote fourth term uh, using this equation because we know this is a, a arithmetic sequence, and we know n term is T n equal. A plus n minus one d, then n equal four. T four equal a is first term is given fourteen plus four uh, minus one d, which is fourteen plus three d. So this is the second one. Now we have to solve this equation. So I will take one equal to thirty two equal forty uh, plus three d. So this is not a good way of writing. Uh, so we can do the opposite way. So fourteen plus three d equal thirty two. So three d equal thirty two minus fourteen. Thirty uh, two minus ten twenty uh, two eighteen. So three d is eighteen. And d is eighteen divided by three. That is six. Question number five. So sequence is generated by the formula u n. U n equal p n plus q. Then uh, there's a data. U six is nine. U six is nine. Now, again, what is U six? From here we can write n equal six. When you substitute here, U six equal uh, p. Six plus q, or six p plus q. Now u six is nine, and u six is six p plus q. This is one and two. So u six we found in a two different way. So then six p plus q equal nine. We'll write uh, one equal two. Or from uh, from one and two, from one and two. The same way we can write u nine is given eleven. Then even n equal uh, nine because ninth term. Uh, u ninth is. I will write p times nine nine p plus q. So u nine equal eleven. U nine equal nine p plus q. Hence, from uh, both ends, you can write nine p plus q equal eleven. Now we have two equation. This is three, and this is four. 
now you can solve those two two unknowns p and q and two equations so i will rewrite closer uh, 6p plus q equal 9 and uh, 9p plus q equal 11 that is 4 so i will minus 4 minus 3 then uh, 9p plus q minus 6p plus q equal 11 minus 9 so 9p plus q minus 6p i'm expanding minus times plus minus minus times minus equal um 11 that is 2 and this is minus q plus q cancel out 9p plus 6p that is going to be 3p equal 2 so p equal 2 over 3 now we know the free value from 3 we'll use this one uh, 6p plus q equal 9 so q equal 9 minus 6p 9 minus 6p mean 2 over 3 so 9 minus 6 times 2 over 3 this is 2 so 9 minus 4 equal 5 Question number 6, uh, for an arithmetic sequence u3 is 30 and un is 9. So we need to find the first negative term in this uh, sequence. So u3 and u9 and somewhere let's say um term, so that is negative term first negative term we can see this is uh, the sequence is descending and uh, this is 30 and this is 9 so maybe it will cross over somewhere 0 and get in a uh, uh, negative um, before I start I, I would like to discuss a bit another example As you we have sequence 1, 3, 5, uh, 7, 9. So this is U1, first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. Now, how can we find common distance or D? So D, usually we can find U2 minus U1 or u3 minus u2 or u4 minus uh, u3 so likewise it is 2 here instead of taking uh, consecutive uh, numbers consecutive terms how about if you pick up this one, this term, and this term, u5, how do you get this d in terms of uh, u5 and u2? So you can find d, u5 term minus u2 term divided by 5 minus 2. So what is u5? u5 is 9 and u2 is 3 and what is the gap between 1, 2, 3? So 5 minus 2, 3. So 9 over 3 is 6, 6 divided by that is 2. So how do we generalize this one? Assume we have a term here u uh, m and uh, in this sequence and we have a term here u n so how do we find d now 
another one now will be for go to this d equal u4 minus u1 4 minus 1 so u4 is 7 u1 is 1 4 minus 1 is 3 so this is 6 divided by 3 equal to so likewise we can generalize d is u n minus u m and n minus m now i know this is an arithmetic sequence uh, i can find uh, d u9 minus u3 divided by 9 minus 3 so 9 minus 3 is 6 u9 is 9 this is 30 so 9 minus 30 um, 21 minus 21 over 6 so this is like minus uh, 7 over 2 that is minus 3.5 now we are in here u3 and u9 we know u9 is 9 and u10 because i can see that the first negative term is near here so then i can simply check without doing any long calculations uh, if i take uh, 3 point if i add minus 3.5 or taking 3.5 out because this is negative so 9 minus 3.5 uh, what is the answer 9 minus 3 6 uh, 6 5.5 and then 5.5 minus 3. Point Five, so 5.5 5 and 3 then 2.5 uh, so this is 2 and then when you take 2 minus 3.5 that is uh, going to be minus 1.5 the first negative term is u12 12th term So first negative term is twelfth that is minus one point five. If not, what will happen? How can you find for this is applicable for any term? So then we found out D and now we need to find out A. Now the theory behind is assume that U3 uh, likewise U9 and uh, this is the U let's say M term is the negative term. So then uh, UM that term has to be less than zero then i need to know what is u m term u m term mean a plus uh, m minus one times d less than zero now i need to know a and d uh, so m minus one i know d is minus uh, seven over two three point five minus now but i don't know a now so i have to find a so to find a i'll use another one again let's say uh, u9 u9 equal 9 again u9 equal what a plus 9 minus 1 times d d we know that minus 7 over 2 now we can uh, 
which is a plus 8 times minus 7 over 2. So this is cancelled out for so a minus uh, 28 7 times 4 u9. Now this is first equation, this is second equation from 1 and 2 we can tell that u9 also 9, u9 also this one hence a minus 20 equal 9. So a equal 28 plus 9 uh, 41. Uh, 37 right. 37 now we know a value so now we have to plug a value here 37 plus m minus 1 uh, minus I'll bring this minus to here minus times plus minus 7 over 2 which is 3.5 Okay, I will bring this 7.2 to left side. So 7.2 times m minus 1 less than 0. Now from here, 37 less than 7 over 2 m minus 1. Now I have to simplify. Uh, so 37 multiply by 2 divide by 7 less than m minus 1 and I'll bring this minus to here so this value is going to be uh, 74 over 7 plus 1 I'll bring to this one so this value is 11.57 m so m greater than 11.57 so when you take the number line so this is 10 11 and 12 and this value is 11.57 so the value should be greater than that m value so this side and the immediate value is 12 so u12 is the the 12th term is the first negative term. That's how you want to find if it is a bigger number. I mean, if it is a big difference. So we can go here one by one taking the common difference uh, out and we can find uh, the 12th term. But if not, this is the procedure we have to follow. And um, yes, and 12th term. Then if you need to know that term's value, then you have to, as usual, you want to find u12. Mean a now we know that a is 37 plus um, uh, 12 minus 1 times. Now we found out d is minus 7 over 2. So this value has to be minus 1.5. We work out now already. Question number seven. Twentieth term for an arithmetic sequence is uh, u twenty is fourteen, and the fortieth u forty is minus six. Find the value of tenth term. So you want to find the value of u ten. U ten is a plus. 10 minus 1 times d. So basically u10 is a plus 9d. So you need to know a and you need to know d. So we'll find d equal u40 minus u20 divided by 40 minus 20. So u40 is minus 6, uh, u20 is 14, and uh, divide by 40 minus 20.
2 that is minus 20 over 20 that is minus 1 d is minus 1 now we know a plus 9 times minus 1 now need to find a so a can find now we'll use this equation u20 is 14 now we know u20 is what again first term plus a plus n minus 1 20 minus 1 times d we found out now uh, minus 1 so this is a 20 minus 1 19 times minus 1 minus 19 so u20 also 14, u20 also a minus 19 uh, from 1 and 2, a minus 19 equal 14, a equal b, a equal c, hence b equal c. So a equal 14 plus 19, that is 33. Now we know a value, so that is 33 plus uh, minus 9. So 33 minus 9. Um, Twenty-four. So don't do the correction here. So uh, substitutions. Uh, so you take this one as three. Then uh, from three you can write u ten equal thirty-three plus nine times minus one. That is twenty-four. If you want to omit this method, so. The other one you have to use uh, two simultaneous equations um, and you can work out so basically you need to know that uh, to find u10 you need uh, those two a and b then you are writing uh, u20 is 14 then u20 is you are writing again uh, a plus 13 d n minus 1 14 minus 1 d so from here you are writing a plus uh, 13 d equal 14 then again you for you 40 equal minus 6 then again you 40 equal a plus 39 d 40 minus 1 so from here you can write a plus 39 d equal minus 6 then two equations all simultaneously 1 and 2 so when you minus uh, 2 minus 1 you will get 39 and d minus uh, okay plus a minus a plus 13 d equal minus 6 minus 14 so 39 d plus a minus a minus 13 d equal minus 20 I think um, this is A to A cancel out. This is going to be 20 D equal minus 20 D equal minus 1. Then uh, uh, you can take from uh, from 1 from 1 A equal 14 minus 13 D which is 14 minus 13 times d value is minus 1. So 14 plus 13 that is 37. Now you have a and d. Now substitute to here. a is uh, 37 and 9 times d is minus 1 and you can find. Question number 8. First three terms 5p 20 and uh, 3p so this is u1 u2 u3 uh, p is a constant we want to find u20 20th we want to find u20 
u20 mean first term plus uh, 20 minus 1 times d or we have to write the in term t n equal a plus n minus 1 d from here you take so u20 equal a plus 19 d now you need to know a and d okay do you know a a is uh, a is 5p now but we have to find uh, okay so we need an equation uh, to find one and one equation is enough because one unknown so to build up an equation we want to find two similar things in uh, differently d is the common distance d equal d from d we can find from here u2 minus u1 also this value has to be equal to u3 minus u2 so u2 minus 20 minus 5p should be equal to 3p minus 20 now this is a one equation, one unknown. So this is going to be 8p. I'll bring to this one and is 40. And divide by 8. P is uh, 5. Now I know P value is 5. Then I can write the terms again. Uh, 5 times 5, 25. 20 and uh, this is 15 3 times 5 15 the first term now from here u20 is a is 25 and uh, 19 and the d we found out uh, okay what is d uh, is 5 d is 20 minus 25 that is minus 5 20 minus 19 times 5 25 19 times 5 95 50 and 45 and then this is minus 70. Uh, question number 9. First three terms is given minus 8 k square and 17 k. Find two possible values for k. So this is consecutive terms. u1, u2, u3. So k is only one unknown we need one equation so we know that in arithmetic sequence uh, the common difference is same so we can find common differences in from here and from here and we can make it equal so d uh, equal u2 minus u1 which is k square minus minus 8 k square plus 8 then d equal again u3 minus u2 that is 17 k minus k square now we found out d in two different ways and this should be equals from 1 and 2 uh, I will write this one first k square plus 8 equal 17 k minus k square so we'll solve this one quadratic equation k plus 8 equal 0 so we can we should be bracket out 2 k minus 1 and k minus 8 revise you again 
2 square minus 7 k plus 8. So we need two numbers. When you multiply, you want to get uh, 8 times 2 plus 2 times plus 8 plus 16. And when you add those two, you get minus 17. So then we have to break uh, 16. Um, the what we call uh, factors of 16 basically. So we want to look at so where factors of 16 is 1 is 16 times 1. So others if you want to find you can find 2, 8, 2, 4, 2, 2. Basically 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. And uh, then you can take this times 2. 4 times 2, 8 times 2, and then uh, the 16 times 1, 1 times 16. So likewise, we have a lot of options. And then you want to pick up the right option. So I can see that the right option is 16 times 1. Right, 16 times 1 is 16. The minus 16 minus 1 minus 17. So then I'm going to write 2k square minus 16k minus k so i breaks minus 17 into 2 and plus 8 equals 0 from here uh, 2k is common k minus 8 when i take minus out uh, this is going to be k minus 8 now from here k minus 8 common and then 2k minus 1 when you take k minus out here remaining 2k and when you take k minus out here remain minus 1 and equals 0 hence k equal k minus 8 equals 0 or 2k minus 1 equals 0 k equal 8 or k equal half Question number 10. An arithmetic sequence has the first term is k square and uh, okay, uh, right, uh, but a is k square, common difference is uh, k and fifth term u5 is 41 also you know u5 is a plus 4d so a is k square and 4 times b is k now From 1 and 2 we can write u5 u41, u5 this one, then k square plus 4 should be equal to equal to 41. Now this is a equation with k we have to solve k square plus 4k minus 41 equal 0 and uh, when I check uh, b square minus 4ac so I think uh, we have to use the quadratic formula um, k equal minus b so b value is 4 minus 4 plus 4 minus b square 4 square minus 4 a is 1 and c is minus 41 over 2 times 1 
okay minus 4 plus 4 minus from the calculator 180 over 2 okay is uh, minus 2 plus 4 minus um, 3 now uh, this is um, minus 4 plus 4 minus 180 I can write uh, uh, 36 times 5 that is 180 so mm, square root 5 now k is uh, we want in this term p uh, plus q square root 5 now which one is q here we have two options for k minus t minus square root 5 and minus 2 plus square root 5 okay k is greater than 0 it means k value has to be greater than 0 this is less than 0, this is greater than 0, then uh, this is the answer, k equal minus 2 uh, square root 5, it means k equal minus 2, 1 times uh, square root 5, this is equal to p plus q square root 5, so p equal minus 2 and q equal 1. Uh, we'll do the challenge question as well. Um, so u n is given l n a plus uh, n minus one times uh, l n b, where u and b are integers, a and b are integers. Uh, u three is l n sixteen u3 is ln16 again when n equal 3 u3 equal ln a plus uh, I'm substituting here ln a plus uh, 3 minus 1 which is 2 ln b um, then u 7 equal ln 2, 5, 6 and again when n equal 7 from here I can write u7 equal ln a plus 7 minus 1, 6 ln b. From here I can write uh, ln ln a plus 2 ln b equal ln 16 and um, from here we can write ln a plus 6 ln b equal uh, ln 2 5 6 now we have to solve this two equation and uh, we have to work out how do you solve those two equations so this is ln a plus this two i put inside ln b square equal ln 16 so i can write this is ln a b square equal ln 16 and um, then we can take the inverse function or uh, with the common sense you can see that this is ln and this is ln to equal this one a b square 
to equal those two a b square has to be equal to 16. Right. This is chapter number 7. I put inside you. No, we know that uh, ln a times b, we can write ln a plus uh, ln b. So this is the one use the opposite way. And we know that uh, ln uh, a to the power b, we can write uh, b ln a. So if we have this form, we can bring inside as a power. So that's what I use here. And uh, same as ln a plus, I put inside b6 equal ln 256. Then I'll bring those two together ln a b6 equal to ln 256. Then this will give a6 a b6 equal. 256. Now this is 1 and 2. So 2 divided by 1. Because I can see when I uh, divide, this is cancel out. So this is the best way and I will divide 2 because this is 6 power, power 6 and this is power 2. So AB6 over AB square equal 2, 5, 6 over 16. A to A cancel out. B6 divided by B2. That is B4. And uh, 2, 5, 6 divided by 16. That is uh, 16. Then B4 equal. I will write. I want to write 16 net with power 4. So then that is 2. Then to make equal. This B has to be 2. So B equal. 